Alrighty, so uh, this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun Moon and as well rising guys. A weekly career in uh, business star reading, uh, February 10th to February 16, 2020. And uh, if you are interested uh, into getting in touch with me for a, a personal reading, you can check out the description uh, down below and there you're gonna find a link to my website as well a, a link to your other video of the week which is going to be focused on a love and relationships and so moving straight away into the spread here now the first card which is gonna stand as the topic of your uh, career and business week that is going to be the Knight of Pentacles followed by the energies which are supporting the certain uh, topic that we do have is going to be the Hangman itself. Afterwards, we are facing here the challenges of your behalf and that will be uh, the Knight of Cups. Then it is uh, the gifts and the blessings that you are going to uh, enjoy for throughout the week here. That will be uh, the Tree of Swords. Furthermore, we do have how you're going to stand in front of people, meaning, you know, how people are going to take on you, what kind of an impression you are going to leave into your supervisor, into your boss, etc, etc. That is going to be the six of uh, swords. And the last one here, which is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. Uh, that will be the temperance card. Just one second to uh, turn off the voice of my PC. All right. So, um, well, this week, uh, for what it seems, it's, it's going to have a rather more, uh, a slower pace than you would like to in terms of, uh, of career and business. But that doesn't mean that the week is not going to be productive at all. Now, this slow pace that you are to experience is going to be for a reason. So you can, um, how can I put it into words here? Well, so you, you can identify exactly what kind of moves are going to be most cost effective moving forward with, with your career in general, with your projects, with your endeavors and etc, etc. Now, these two cards here as the hangman stands as the energies which are supporting the topic itself. Those energies are really pointing to one or two, to a couple of things, excuse me. One of the things it is that you can't force it you can't push it you try to push it you, I, the very least you know uh you are gonna end up stumbling into one place and the worst that can happen here it is that you're gonna find your efforts being totally futile because the hangman is all about waiting the right circumstances to form you can't do anything about and uh, such kind of situations could be identified as such for example you have done your part of the project and now you have to wait your colleague to do their part of the project you can't do their part for them and uh, trying to do it so it is just going you, you're just going to waste your time okay so that being said, in terms of career this week, uh, you, uh, Cancer, should be a little bit more, uh, it's not even patient. It is more about like a, uh, in a stage of awaiting the uh, skies darken, if you take it that way, to be set into light again. And that is only going, in, and that all is going to be set on its own accord. Now with the Knights of Pentacles here, which is the topic itself, it does point that the more simplified your plan is and the more uh, um, simple actions you take toward the projects toward the task of yours you know toward the people as well that you're tackling with with the better results you're going to achieve uh, also this week in terms of a career and business it is a week where you are going to set up a certain goals that you would really want to accomplish moving forward into the future but that will happen in a long term um in the long term time frame i don't know how to say it in the sense of that it's not going to happen overnight certainly not in this week it is just this week where you are going to put the very first actions which are to support it with a very strong determinations in in term of a achieving a bigger prospect moving forward into the future but just so i can summarize these two cards now that uh, week for you in term of business and career as with the hangman always stands especially in term of a uh, energies it is that this week is going to be simultaneously for you guys a test 
and the breakthrough as well. And if you endure through the test, meaning that you do not panic, you are always subjective, you are calm, you are patient, and you are confident as well, then the breakthrough is going to come on its own or, or on its own accord. If you do panic, if you try to do anything for the sake of doing anything, then it does look like that you're going to waste a lot of your energies, resources, and maybe you're going to find yourself in a dead-end situation. Next one here, it is the challenges that you will have to face throughout the week in terms of, uh, of a career and business, and that is a competitor. And actually, this competitor does not wishes you uh, ill, if I may say it that way. It is just, you know, you are, um, how can I say it, you are striving towards the same direction, and unfortunately, at the end, there can be only one winner, okay? The winner takes it all but these people they do not play nefarious they do not play surreptitious so they are going to be completely open for whatever goals or or whatever they are chasing and, and whatever they want now you may not like it but they are going to be open for it now the thing with the knights of cups however in terms of business and career it is that these people they are workaholics okay they they firmly believe that the more the better they perform the more time they spend the more um how can i say it the more um information they gather the better results they are going to achieve so if you think you are hard you are a hard worker here in a uh, uh, in comparison to the knights of cups well multiply that by two and then you are probably going to resemble the knights of cup uh, of cups dedication into being a winner in this competition so you are facing a competition however luckily for you the uh the end of the line or the finish line if you will is going to be reached far further into the future not just into this week so you will have to focus more upon the immediate pressing issues which are uh, kind of like once again putting you with your back against the wall here um in terms of that uh, you are you will have to wait for certain things to happen that does not depend on you and up until those things happen you know uh, that are depending on other people uh, your hands are pretty much going to be tied now next one here it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week in terms of a career and business and that is actually a fantastic card in terms of a coming next to a comp competition card so the further back you start from the competition the better performance you are gonna make this is uh this is a uh, very clear with the tree of swords when it comes to a, a positive position especially as gifts and blessings the more your back is against the wall you know the more fearsome you become the more devoted you become the more dedicated you become not for any other reason but just so you can show to the world that you can do it okay additionally to that um three of swords here points as well that it doesn't look like that you are to be attacked by the people around what i mean is that if not anything else your colleagues your boss and your supervisor are gonna leave you on your uh is going to leave they are going to leave you alone meaning it's that uh, it's just they they're not going to give you uh, they're not going to give you crap they're not going to try to smother you with mental cruelty you know like oppressing you with words insulting you and all these kind of stuff if they ha doesn't have anything good to say simply they're not going to say anything about and uh, finally as a gift and blessing here the um tree of swords kind of points that uh, there is no chance that you are going to be brought down in spirit just because you have to start you you need you you have to cross the starting line a little bit on a back foot okay it's just that will be instead of being crushing into spirit is going to be lifting into spirit knowing that at the end of the road once you um, once you crumble your competition or once you destroy your competition you would more than deserve you know whatever benefits you are to reap from this uh, particular endeavor now next one uh, is about uh, the uh, impression that you're gonna leave into people around and that will be the six of swords and this is quite a very fearsome impression. It pretty much points to a person who is ready to do about anything 
okay it's about anything in order to kind of like restore balance restore judgment or in other words to face a better circumstances meaning that uh, that will be the other reason why people are not going to approach you in a negative way because they are going to be afraid that you are to backlash on them and they definitely know that they ain't gonna like when you backlash on them in any um, in any way possible additionally to that with the six of uh, swords it's like people are uh, people are gonna take on you as a, a person who is not afraid in a sense of that it is not afraid to try it is not afraid to resort to rather quite unstandard maneuvers and unstandard and, and unstandard uh, if you will means and prerequisites to push on forward and to improve their circumstances or uh, how can i put it well pretty much people are going to see you as a person who is is uh, ready to do to to do about anything to improve their circumstances in a uh, career and uh, you know if they can't help you if they can't support you if they uh, can't say anything good about it they will just going to back their self away from you at least they don't kind of create plights and obstacles uh, obstacles for you along the way but once again the competitor is someone is someone that possesses a force that is to be reckoned with and if you do not give a uh, hundred and ten percent of yourself in chase of your future promotion future salary raise you know or winning over a certain project uh he your competition i mean may actually knock you off that uh, that chase that um that tournament all right that a uh, competition right it's just how can i say it and so the last card that we are moving into regards to your career cancer uh, that is going to be uh the temperance card and here the card points that it isn't personal guys you you should not take that as a, a vendetta or something like this i mean this the whole thing with your competition and the whole thing with that right now you just have to wait while you need to uh, while the other people do their job but you can use once again that time to kind of like focus on what kind of steps you are going to take after you know your time comes about and your time is going to come about once again i want to stress this one enough this week it is simultaneously for you I, a breakthrough and a test and once again if you are patient enough all right if you are determined to wait enough and if you do not panic and etc etc then you are going to endure throughout the test and the breakthrough is going to come on its own accord now here with the temperance you have to also attend to certain chores in term of career so if you don't if you can't focus on the substantial things then use that time to kind of uh, get rid of uh, you know irritating details or irritating chores once again that are taking place into your duties in term of uh, in term of career position in company or in a business and also with the temperance it will be important not to be aggressive and not to take any sides as well okay so you are taking like your battle matters more than anything else your battle for that position all right but that battle matters more than anything else as well for your competitors and you are not that different from one another as well you are all the same it is just you are sharing different sides on the spectrum here if you have been analyzed you could have achieved a lot but unfortunately you are enemies into that situation but once again this isn't personal and once this thing is over that competition is over maybe you are gonna side um you are going to um side sides all right it's like working together and then it's uh, a lot of things can be accomplished so uh, as a guidance here you have to honor your competition okay give them the uh, deserved appreciation if you will or deserved respect here show solidarity show compassion and that these traits these qualities of yours are gonna go in a long run in term of a career unfoldment so that being said cancer this was your weekly career uh tower reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, once again if you are interested into a, a personal tarot reading you can check out the description down below uh there you're gonna find a link to my website and as well a link to your other video of the week which is a career and relationship and uh 
hopefully we're gonna we are going to see each other around and until then bye